Hey, what's going on, guys? If you could do me a favor, hit that like, like, share, subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell. I sure appreciate it. Uh, when is Kirby Smart going to learn that it takes more than a defense to win games in this era of football? Your offense has to be able and capable of scoring points. That's just a known fact. And if your offense can't score points, then <laughs> you might as well forget it. You're going to be in trouble. And that was proven Saturday against Florida. Our offense couldn't do nothing. And you know, the main thing I get tired of hearing is all the excuses. Well, we have this player out. We have that player out. We have this many players out. That's why it's on the coaches to get these other players ready and prepared for games and it showed Saturday that a lot of our players wasn't ready they didn't know what to do they was confused on defense running around staring at each other couldn't figure out where they should get lined up on the field who they should be covering that's on the coaches. The offense, neither quarterback showed nothing. And Stetson Bennett it in the man. <laughs> Dwan Mathis it in the man. I I I'm totally lost. Kirby Smart has been there for five years now. And he still can't figure out the quarterback situation. Who's going to be the quarterback come Saturday against Missouri? Now I hear that he's reopened the quarterback competition. Hey, does this mean we'll get to see JT Daniels? Maybe so. I tell you what, I'd rather see him or Beck in there than Stetson Bennett and Dwan Mathis. Now I know Stetson Bennett's hurt. He's got a hurt shoulder. Please, please, Kirby, if you have any sense and you are smart, you will not start Dwan Mathis. You will start JT Daniels. And even though Carson Beck is a freshman, I would play him. I would play JT Daniels and Carson Beck. Good Lord, I know we we got to score points on Missouri. But who knows the way we played Saturday. Now, I hear you know Florida had all this time off before before the game Saturday because of COVID. Then they had an off week. So they had plenty of rest time before this game and Georgia played two physical games before the Florida game. But that is still no excuse that our players wasn't prepared. 
Now, I'm starting to wonder if there's going to be any coaching changes at the end of the season. Will there be some coaches let go, new coaches brought in? And I, I tell you, our offensive line, I'm sorry. I like Matt Luke, but our offensive line isn't cutting it. Now, I think I would bring in a new offensive line coach to better prepare the offensive line. I know he's a pretty good recruiter. And he's done good his first season last year. But but these are, are juniors and seniors on the line. And we can't even open holes for the running backs. And our DB coach, huh, where did he come from? Florida. He, he hadn't impressed me. Our DBs don't know how to cover. I think the only one decent on the team is Eric Stokes. Uh, Tyreek Stevenson, Tyson Campbell. Ah. They need to be on the bench. But I'm still trying to figure out why it took Kirby Smart this long to reopen the quarterback competition. He waits until now Stetson Bennett goes down and might not be able to play the Missouri game. Uh, yeah, you should have figured this out the last couple games after he's threw five interceptions within two games. Well, like I said, we'll see what he does if he's if he's smart, and his last name is Smart. He'll he'll play J T Daniels. Now. I know we're going to have a lot of players out for Missouri. We have a lot of players hurt. But that's why this week these coaches need to prepare these players and get them ready for Saturday. What do they say? Next man up. Well, it's time to teach and time to prepare the next man up. And Todd Monken needs to figure out some different play calling or something. I, I tell you, the, the past four or five years, it, it's the same plays every Saturday. Every Saturday, it's the same plays. And you and you be told, oh, we're gonna be we're gonna do plays that that you ain't never seen before. We're gonna mix we we gonna put some new plays in, we're gonna mix things up. It's gonna be way better offense than what it was last year, the year before. And it is the same thing. Over and over and over and over again. Now I wouldn't be surprised after this season if somebody comes calling for Todd Monken and he leaves. Kirby Smart and this coaching staff has to figure out something. They, they, something's got to be done. There's no reason and no excuse 
for us to play the way we play when we have all this talent on the field. All these four and five stars and we play the way we do. So embarrassing and humiliating. It's it's ridiculous. There is teams out there with less talent than what we have and they play better than us. And that is on the coaching. So I think at the end of the season I think there's going to be some changes. Now I also see there will be some players in the transfer portal. And it could wind up being Beck and JT Daniels. And I tell you, if I'm a five-star quarterback and I want to play for the University of Georgia, and I see they already have two quarterbacks sitting on the bench. I don't want to come and be sitting on the bench the first, the first year or second year. I would want to go somewhere where I know I'm going to be able to come in and play some and earn playing time. So let's just hope this don't scare off Vandergriff. Well, I appreciate y'all watching my video. Continue to watch my videos, please, and hit that like, subscribe, share button. Give me a thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. It'll help my video out a lot. God bless and go dogs.